Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Thursday, the 23rd of February, 2023. And I'm reviewing this rather awesome, cheap and cheerful set, Global Forces SWAT, with this really unusual sort of tank and this really cool looking articulated tower. And I did show this just the other day. Actually, it might be a few days ago for you, if you're not a Patreon member. Um, on, well, I, showed it, I showed, it, showed it in a Tor Hill video. You can see that's the articulated tower there. It looks really cool. And then this is the tank, which is also articulated here. There's also another set of a tower, which has this boat, which doesn't really interest me. Another one again, which has this helicopter here, which doesn't really interest me again. But if this set is good, in the, I mean, particularly the tower, I might get a few more of these. Of the tanks would be nice. And maybe the other ones, if I can't get the tank, just to get more towers. Because they do link together. And I really like the look of them. This does look like a fantastic set. 118 scale meant to be. The figures that are inside are sort of Chapmay-ish. And I think one's broken at the legs or the, the crutch piece. And the legs are popped out. Doesn't bother me because I bought it for the actual sort of a tower and tank. Uh, it's got a copyright. There's no year that I can see in it. It's made in China. Global Forces, any manufacturer. <clears throat> GB, we recommend you to keep this information. Thank you. Uh, not a lot I can see on there. Yep, not much more to see. Okay, so I'm going to pause this, unbox this, set it up, and see this, see what it's like. If you like sort of thing, uh, sort of content, we'll see stuff early. As soon as it's uploaded, then please do join a Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen. Now, no more waiting around one week, two weeks, one month, sometimes two months to see a video. Okay, so I will be back soon with this setup. So back in an instant. Okay, here it is. I just want to say this. Wow, this is the greatest cheap toy toy company ever. Um, the things they've done and the details they put in, the little features they put in are just amazing for this set. Now, I do realise it was cheap because that figure is broken. The one on top here, you can see his crutch is broken, the pieces here, so his legs will pop out. It can't do, actually do anything. But they've put some real great things into this. So let's have a look at the figures first. I'll use the other figure, not this guy. Take him off because his legs are going to come off. Battle damage. So let's have a look here. So let's get a nice focus go on. Uh, maybe I can get us a bit better. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay. So very, very simple sculpt. Bit short. Quite chunky and wide. It's a screw open, which you've seen before. He's got a turning head. His, his arms go up. His legs go up and back. He also has a small waist, which you don't normally see in these type of figures, which is fantastic. Now check this out. This is so cool. They come with body armor, which you can just take apart, stick on, and clip back on again. And that should fit a lot of your action figures, because these guys are quite wide. Really quite cool. So we've got two lots of the armor, which I'm really, really happy about. Just quickly snap it off again. They also come with this shield, which is all right, and this handle, which I thought f should fit in there. But this is the... um. Actual peg is way too small. There's nothing, no other handle in there. But it's the only place I can think that this handle can go. Though I may find some other places. However, having said that, they've also got holes in all the other things that you can stick things in, which is cool. Comes with this crowbar or maybe tire iron, some hammer, something pick. Who knows what this is? If you know what this tool is called specifically, please let me know. It's the first time I've seen one of these. You get this uh, pretty cool shovel, quite big, probably a bit too big for 118. I'm approaching. Bit small for 112, possibly, but still quite cool. And the fact they've got the little lines there make it good. Nice sledgehammer. Again, better scaled for 112, but pretty cool. Check out these guns. Again, these are two big 118. This is awesome. Very nice shotgun with a sight on it, which makes it make much sense to me. <laughs> I'm going to snipe with a shotgun and then you've got this like a uh, grenade launcher thingy which looks pretty damn cool again very very nice then check out uh, let's do the tower first and look at the uh, tank after that this tower is great so I've stuck in already the little uh, winch and yes it does work you can pull out yeah. and you can wind back up again with the handle which is fantastic but the options, because I can stick this on any... Ugh, I can stick it there, 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 back, 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 back. I can unplug this part here. 
these parts here are was the hinge are actually trap doors you can take them off you can have them on you can see all these joints here means that this has some articulation and yes you can pop out and pop back in so you can build as you please and if you look here you see there's a little lip which means they should connect together into this part here now they also, which is fantastic, come with a little instruction seat, sheet oops, sorry, here. And it shows you the parts that make it, and it shows you setups you can do. This is like the original Dio, 180 scale Dio thing that you'd be seen like with Fresh Retro and Joy Toy, you know, <laughs> 118 scale. And it's just simple and fantastic. It's such a nice industrial look. And the fact that you can move parts around, you can open doors. It's great. I'm not sure you could put a door on the side. That'd be great. Let me have a quick look in their photo. They've got no oh, they have. Look. They put stuff on the side. Because you can slot into there. Awesome. You get a little side door. And this will scale really well if you're 124, 125 scales, your 127 scale, and whatnot, and 128 scale, because it, you know, it's not overly big doing one, but two is fantastic for 118. This is so so good. And you can just oh, I mean, I have to play more to see what other sort of shapes I can bend it into. Maybe put some less joints in. It's got a joint here, joint here. So you've got like a knee effect, same on the top. It's absolutely fantastic. So well thought out. Nice little details on the little winch too. Not sure why they put that there. Should put it on the other side, really, you'd think. But still, got a bit of the old, you know, it's old, it's got this sort of a, What's the word? This uh, deteriorated rubber band that was holding it in place in the box, which sort of crumbles away in the hand now. There you go. It's one piece crumbled off. So I don't know. I'm sure. I hope the seller's got more of these. I don't think he has, but I have to start looking on Taobao and other Chinese apps and maybe eBay. Uh, pretty cool. Let's look at the tank. So I'm calling it a tank. I'm not sure that's the right word. I like it a lot. There's one feature it's missing, which maybe I could add, but we'll look at it a second. I put the gun in place and check this for the gun. Now the turret here doesn't turn, which is disappointing. The gun turns, but not only does it turn, they put it on a ball. So you can roll, you can go up, you can go down, and you can turn on a ball. Who put it on a the ball? These guys do. The part I'm disappointed is this part doesn't open up. Uh, you can put a figure in there. There's loads of space inside. Uh, there is articulation on the wheels, some sort of strange articulation, so now I've got the middle wheel not engaged at all. I can have the uh, wheels come up like this for climbing something high, I guess. I can have like this with one side down, one side up. It's almost like a suspension. But if I pick it up here, if you look inside, you can see, can you see, let's get the light on, that if I take that top piece off here, that is still plastic underneath. This is, in fact, it looks to be screwed on. So in order to, uh, I mean, it's a bit loose, but in order to get that off, I'd have to take this bottom piece off. That, there we go, let's get rid of that piece there. I'd have to take, probably unscrew that, unscrew this, and I can cut a hole underneath, I guess, and I could add a simple hinge, and this will come off too. But look, on this again, you've got these holes, which means things like this, is it compatible? Oh, this one's not compatible. Oh, what a shame. But other things should be compatible. So that handle may be too small. Back here, perhaps? No. But other things somewhere are going to be compatible. Whether it's going to be this turret piece here. Is that going to be compatible? No, because that's a square hole there. But I'm sure there's going to be something that's going to be compatible with that. It does give options. It's a really nice... I mean, look, look at this, look at this articulation here. That's fantastic. Let's see, look. Who does that? Who puts articulation on a cheap toy? And on a vehicle like that as well. Look at that, these sort of different things you can get. Awesome. Okay, we need to get an idea of size. So I'm going to get my tape measure. And also I'll get a figure to com to stick in and a uh, modern figure so how it looks. So this little uh, tank thing, it's not very big. It is 20, just un, about 20 and a half, 21 cm long. Height wise, the top of the turret is around about, is that around about 11? Width wise, we can see that it's about 11 and a half. 
Okay, I do a size compassion with a much bigger vehicle at the moment. Uh, the tower will just really depend how you build it, but as it stands, excluding the barrier at the top, it is 13, just over 13 cm. Whip wise is 10, and should be about the same on this way. Yeah, about 10. We're doing a square, which is a much better system. Sorry, George, all your diorama sets are fantastic, but you should have done it based on squares, like the fresh red chart in this one here, because it makes more sense for matching things up. Okay, so put it to the side. I'm going to compare this vehicle firstly with a another vehicle, a big vehicle. This is the uh, Fortnite truck. Is it the mud flap? I can't remember the name now. Oh, yeah, it says mud flap on it, uh, which I have reviewed. I'll stick that in the top right for you. And you can see that actually it doesn't scale too badly. It's quite high. Whip wise, it will suffer. It's not as long. There's like a light scout tank or armored car or something. Then whip wise, because of the tracks come out here, or the wheels come there, it's not too bad. So I think this makes a absolutely fantastic vehicle, particularly if you're into your GI Joe and your Cobra. I mean, it's blue anyway, pretty much. A simple repaint, you've got an awesome, an awesome vehicle there. You can't take those blue parts off, which is a shame, but it just does look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna get, um, I've got my Putinator vi uh, figure here. If you don't know who the Putinator is, it's uh, a custom I made with a Vladimir Putin Terminator head. Da -dun 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 -dun, da -dun 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 -dun, and a red, is it Red Joe, the Risen? Um, Joy Toy figure too. So it's my Putinator there. Okay, so here's a modern Joy Toy, none one of 40k size. You see that the vehicle is a good height. He stands next to it, the vehicle's a good height. Lengthwise of our line, it's about it's about twice as long as he is, and widthwise it'll be about the same as his uh, him lying down, pretty much. Yeah, so it's a good size. If I stick him in, he's got wide thighs because of his uh, holster, but because these figures it comes with are, are big, yeah, look at that. You can actually get him holding those guns if I wanted to. Not too difficult either. The hells aren't that big. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. That just looks so good. Really, it does look so good. And the only complaint, again, is that this is not, you know, accessible to get into the in the innards. And I think part of the reason is, is because as we saw earlier, it opens up when you, when you articulate, it can, yeah, I gotta do it again. When it articulates, somehow, there we go. You can see in, actually no, it makes no difference if you articulate or not, you can see in anyway. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that I'll be tempted. The other thing that's a bit amusing is why is there sculpting? Can you see in this side, you can see there is sculpting on the inside there, which makes no sense since that is covered up there. So I am going to be really interested. In fact, is that screw holes there instead? No, no, no. I'm going to be really interested to see what is sculpted underneath that. Because there is sculpting there and something screwed on. So I will be taking that apart in the future. I might even do it in a second now actually and have a look and show you guys. Um, but that just looks fantastic. I really like the set. The tank is great. The tower is great. The weapons are great for 112. You need to draw the barrels. The body armor is great. The little uh, winch thing is great too. The fact that you can join these together and make bases is great. Kind of reminds, reminds me of number 57. Uh, their 124 scale kits, which are awesome. Um, and, and how it looks. So I think it's just really such a great cheap set i'm not just really i'm blown away this is the sort of thing that you wish all cheap sets were like because it's got great features it's quite well thought out loads of things you can do okay so i'm gonna quickly attempt off camera to unscrew this and unscrew that and see what it looks like underneath and then i'll come back and show you guys if i'm successful or not we'll see in a little while so i'll be back in an instant for you guys stay tuned if you want to see what this looks like underneath back in a moment Okay, so underneath 
is like this. It looks like maybe there was some sort of cylindrical gun or something in there. And they thought, nah, let's put a cover on. Um, the cover's quite nice. Not sure why they got that part there. If you were to articulate it for opening, you'd probably have to hinge it from the front. Or maybe from the uh, ah! side to get access. Possibly, I'm not sure. It also looks like this may have been like a four-wheeler and it was way too narrow. And I thought, let's add this little articulated basin underneath, which is fantastic. There's only one screw that holds it together and it actually slides up and down. So you get the um, different articulation there. But that could have been a tank, but it looks far better having that on there. Is it worth me cutting it to get a figure to sit inside? Then I've got to start thinking about... Do I want to put a seat in there? Do I want this in there? Do I want that in there? I mean, there is space inside, except you've got that central column there, which you do need. Do you need those? That's the hope it's slight. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'll bother. I'll just leave it as is. As a one man, I'm going to be the commander, whatever tank thing. Uh, having said that, if I do manage to get, you know, another nine sets, <laughs> then I think I'll give it a go. Fantastic set. I've got to say, I'm so impressed. You know, for a cheap set, you don't expect anything like this. You know, you don't expect anything like this whatsoever. And yet it's just so, so cool. Great job by whoever manufactured this. I just wish they'd... Uh, be more widely available because I've never seen them or heard of them before or this set I should say anything like this before fantastic highly highly recommended great bang for your buck lots of options and you can do loads of things and such a cheap price I've paid as well okay this is awesome action toys I am signing out saying please like share subscribe please join the patreon link in the video description below and I'll see you in the next video stay happy keep collecting bye bye